Dunedin City Council getting ready to vote on having a temporary liquor ban around the Forsyth Bar Stadium which can be reactivated whenever it's deemed necessary. Because the amount of crime and disorder around the stadium doesn't meet the threshold by law to justify a permanent liquor ban, the council have had to impose temporary liquor bans for one-off major events. And each temporary ban required a lot of paperwork consideration by councillors and public notification. The new reactivatable liquor ban is intended to streamline the process for events over 10,000 people as well as the smaller OUSA events such as the toga party. As drafted the intention of staff is that this wouldn't ever be imposed without the request of either the police, DVML or the event organiser, regardless of who was organising the event and how many attendees there were? I, um, the idea was, or the purpose of it was, if the event was expected to host more than 10,000 patrons or the AUSA arranged events, and the reason that AUSA arranged events was inserted was because they have asked for them when they've only had about four, four and a half thousand for orientation. Mayor Aaron Hawkins is unsure if the legality of the new ban would still work if the stadium changed name, but he says he's happy for that issue to be dealt with in the future. Forsyth Bar don't aim the naming rights to the venue in perpetuity, so were it to be, were the naming rights sponsor to be different, would that make this null and void? That might be a legal question, um, or is it something we're better off revisiting at that point? It would be dealt with at the review of the bylaw and it's uh, Dunedin Venues Limited, Management Limited, that we've got named in the report, not Forsyth Bar Stadium, but the stadium is the, the focal point. Oh, it's, it, it says Forsyth Bar Stadium in the resolution, but that's fine, we can deal with it uh, subsequently. Councillor Mike Lord confirmed the liquor ban around the stadium is different from the permanent liquor ban in central Dunedin. There's two areas. There's the area around the stadium and the area that covers right up to View Street in that area. So are these two separate areas or will they both automatically click in together? No, the, the area that takes in the central city up to View Street is the permanent liquor ban. The second area around Forsyth Bar Stadium is only for temporary bans. Examples of likely temporary liquor bans include the upcoming Elton John, Queen and 660 concerts at the stadium, as well as OUSA's Orientation Week early next year. In Dunedin, The South Today.